So let's talk about some cheap stocks. Uh, first off, congratulations uh, for everyone that took advantage of PTON. Uh, this was actually one of our cheap stocks that we talked about, I think, two or three days ago, literally the day right before it blew up. Uh, not every stock ever plays out this way, uh, but I was actually interested in making more of an um, in-depth video on my swing trade with PTON. I actually have sold a majority of my position. It gained a total of 22%. Uh, here is PTON, my overall position at $100,000 invested in it. So if you guys would like me to make that video, I can actually make it as early as tomorrow morning and break down where I bought, show you all my entries, show you all my exits for my PTO1 position. Uh, but just let me know down in the comment section and just drop a thumbs up. But in this video, we're actually going to be talking about a stock that has recently reported earnings and that has sold off. And this stock is actually a previously bullish stock. So if we go to my oversold watch list here on the Webull trading platform, it's actually ticker symbol KR. This is Kroger. A lot of you guys should be familiar with this company. And not only looking at it on the four hour time frame, right? So we can look at you know the past couple of months of its direction. Uh, but looking at it on the day chart, if you guys look at it on the day chart, you can see that Kroger for the past year has been very, very bullish. And at least for myself, right? Uh, I'm not here to speak for uh, on behalf of everyone else, but I really like focusing on stocks that are bullish. It makes it a lot easier. It's still not easy, but it makes it a lot easier for me to be able to put money behind a stock and then actually be able to turn it around for a profit because the direction is in my favor. So there's three things that I like about Kroger, and this is why I'm talking about it. The first thing is I like how bullish it is. I like its direction. The second thing is I like how consistent it is. By having this consistent pattern, it allows me to at least have a better understanding of the highs and the lows. And the last thing is I like deals. Where are all my deal hunters at, right? And if you look at this on the day chart, it hasn't had, Kroger has not had a pullback like this in quite some time. It's been on a very consistent bull run, which now has allowed, because of this earning report, um, a little bit of a pullback to allow some breathing room, right? And this is great for those that were not already invested for people like you and I, right? And it's not that we have to blindly buy the dip right now because we all know that, you know, when a stock sells off, even after earnings, it can still continue to sell off. But this is a crucial point where like now it makes sense on why I added it to my watch list because when Kroger was trading at these overbought levels, you know, there's no margin to be able to make potential profit on, right? But now that it pulled on back, if we simply make a recovery to where we were at before, right? So from where we're at right now, at around $42.68, right? And if we were to make a recovery, let's say, let's say a recovery to $46.40. That'd be an 8% return. If we were to make a recovery to previous highs, that's 12%. This is for a company, again, that has a market cap of $31 billion to be able to potentially make 10%. But one of the things that I can't stress enough is, again, oversold a cheap stock does not mean that it's a good buy. It does not mean that it has to continue or that it can't continue to sell off. So please make note of that, right? So we're going to approach this with the three stages of a reversal, wait for confirmation of a support, and then once it actually begins to indicate signs of an uptrend, then, you know, that's why I have all these alerts. So um, waiting for the confirmation of a reversal, and if it does begin to sell off a little bit more, then the great thing about that is that, you know, well, I haven't put any money behind this trade. So it actually doesn't matter if the stock continues to sell off. If anything, it's probably in my best interest being someone that's not already invested in Kroger if it does continue to sell off. I want it to sell off more. Why? Because once it does establish a support level, because we know eventually it will, that means that it will only have more margin for potential recovery. So it pays to be patient in this market. I wanted to talk about how bullish it's been. I wanted to talk about how consistent it's been. But most importantly, the deal that is currently presenting itself. Oversold does not mean a good buy. It does mean that it's cheap, and that's why we're paying attention to it. But when it makes sense to buy is when that direction actually begins to indicate signs of a recovery. And this is where studying alerts and having an effective watch list comes in. So let me know in the comments section what you think about Kroger. Is it a stock that would meet your criteria? I really do appreciate you guys' time. I hope that I earned your thumbs up in this video. Again, if you guys want me to make the video for tomorrow for the more in-depth video on my PTON swing trade, I would love to break it down for you and show you all my entries and all my exits for my $100,000 swing trade on PTON. 
Also, if you guys are ready to join our team, one of the things that I did want to remind you is we have our free Facebook group, 314,000 members, and that's that first link in the description. If you guys want to be able to watch me trade live as soon as Monday at Market Open, click that second link in the description, and I'll see you at the morning bell. Until then, like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.